Excited. She's preparing a lesson about a celebration for you guys. But first, I want to let you know we got your letters, we got your emails, we got your pictures. We're so excited. We sent you another color page, so keep them coming. And I think Miss Tammy's ready, so let's take a look. Come on in. Good morning, everybody. We're so glad you're here. Miss Manny's right. It's a celebration today. We're celebrating because you're back to Kids Crossing. We're here at Kids Crossing and we have an awesome new series we're launching today called Easter. While today's not Easter, Easter's coming. And you know what we're gonna learn? You're gonna learn about a donkey. You're gonna learn about a supper. You're gonna learn about a cross and a tomb. And you are going to learn about the most wonderful miracle and gift that has ever happened. I can't wait for us to journey this together. But right now, I think we need to take a minute and pray and thank God for allowing us to be here. Some of you may be saying, pray, what is prayer? Prayer is simply talking to God. Will you all close your eyes right now and let's pray together. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for another way that we can get together to learn more about you and how much you love each one of us. Thank you for the ability to meet even though we're not together in person. We are together because wherever we're at, you say you are with us and we thank you. Help us today across homes and houses and, and wherever people are to know and to learn more about how much you love us. We thank you for Jesus and we thank you in his name. Amen. All right, boys and girls. Now, as usual, we're going to sing a song and we call it worship. There's several ways we can worship God. One way is singing to him and about him. Another way is caring for people and being kind. But right now we want to take a moment and sing a song that will remind us of how Jesus can help us to be brave. How many of you have had some time this week where you have been a little angry or a little sad or a little afraid? Me too. Things are different right now. You're not with your friends all the time. You're not at school. Sometimes you can't even see grandma and grandpa. But I'm going to tell you something. We're going to sing this song about Jesus and to Jesus and how he can help us be brave. Let's sing it together. No, I won't be afraid.
Thank you, everyone. That was so much fun. You know, singing and talking to God, all that dancing, it always makes me feel so much better, and I hope it did you too. You know, we talked a little bit earlier about worshiping, and that's one way to worship. In our lesson today, and from our Bible story, we're gonna learn about how people worshiped God through Jesus a long time ago. I'm gonna read from my Bible, and you can read it yours at home if you want to. Some of you may be saying, what's a Bible? A Bible is a book that's absolutely true, given to us by God through man, written through man. And it's his story, and it's our story. It's to show us how much he loves us and the plans he has for us. So let me get my Bible. We're gonna read from the book of Luke. Luke chapter 19. And Luke was a friend of the disciples of Jesus. Let's see what he had to say. After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Bethphage at Bethany, at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples saying, Go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Say the Lord needs it. Those who were sent ahead went found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? And they replied, the Lord needs it. Way before Jesus was born, years and years before, God had told someone special named Zechariah that one day a king would ride into Jerusalem on a donkey and that king would be Jesus. Many, many years later, those words came true. When Jesus and all of his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of the Passover, which is a Jewish holiday, Jesus stopped before they went and he asked his disciples to go get the donkey and to bring it to him. You know, let's watch our video just to see a different way that we can understand this story better. Stories of the Bible, the triumphal entry. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town. You coming? And Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. Okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do, for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset and they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers. So the people kept on singing, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. 
the entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, Who is this? And the crowds replied, It's Jesus. And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry, just as God said he would many years before. Wow, those people were so happy to see Jesus. They had heard all the amazing things that he had done and the miracles he had performed, and they could not wait to meet him and celebrate him and shout words of praise to him. They were worshiping him just like we worship him today. You know, they believed that Jesus was coming to save them from the harsh people who were ruling over them called the Romans. They did not realize that Jesus wasn't coming to Jerusalem to save people from Romans. He was actually planning to die on a cross and return to life three days later to save the whole world and everybody who will ever be in it from something much bigger than people. It's called sin. It's those things that you do and I do that, that God doesn't want us to do, yet he knows that we will continue to do it, like lying and cheating and stealing. There's things we try so hard not to do, but alone we can't do it. We need, and God knew we'd need forgiveness for those things. Jesus was coming to provide forgiveness for all of us. He's the King of Kings for all time. Let's sing another song. It's called Celebrate. And after all this good news we're hearing, I think it's time for us to celebrate. Everybody stand up. Might be a new song for you, but it's going to be fun. Stand up and let's sing together.
job singing, everybody. I love it when we can sing to God. And again, doesn't it just make you feel great? You know, boys and girls, I'd like to review our lesson right now, real quickly. I have with me this thing called, well, it looks like an Easter basket, but it's not. It's our Bible basket. And it's our reminder quickly of what we learned today. So one thing we learned was there was a donkey, right? And we've got our donkey here. That was an important part of our lesson because it was historical. And it was told from long ago that Jesus would come, the king would come on a donkey, and Jesus did. He came on a donkey. And what did they do? Ah! Oh, yes, Jesus, they said, come, come, Lord Jesus. They took their palm branches and they waved them and they threw them down. And you know what? If I'd have been there, I'd done the same thing too. I would have taken my jacket off and I would have thrown it right at the feet of that donkey or Jesus and said, welcome, King of Kings. But you know what else happened, don't you? In our Bible story, we learned there were mad people people who didn't believe, and they didn't want Jesus changing things. Boys and girls, there are people like that today that are going to be hard on you when you say, Jesus is the king of my life, and that he loves me, and that I love him. But you know what? It's okay because Jesus is with you. Even when the angry people are around, God is bigger. So now what we're gonna do is our memory verse. Are you ready? Let's do our memory verse together. Christ died for our sins, just as the scripture said. He was buried and he was raised from the dead on the third day, just as the scripture said. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. Now, boys and girls, that word scriptures can be confusing. What does that mean? It's words in the Bible. The Bible is also called the scriptures and they're absolutely true. You know, the most important thing you can remember today, though, is we can worship Jesus no matter where we are, just like the people did at the parade when he came into Jerusalem. And the most important thing else you can remember today is that no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, no matter what's been done to you, boys and girls, Jesus is here for you. He came and he died and he rose again because he loves you. He created you and he has plans for your life. And in times like this, when it can be scary and unsure, the one thing we know is we can go to him and we can ask him. Why don't we do that together right now? Jesus, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being the King of Kings. Thank you that you love us no matter what we've done or who we are. We're going to take a moment right now, Jesus, to say we love you. We believe that you came for us. We want you, Lord Jesus, to forgive those things we do wrong and help us to make better choices, Lord. Help us to know how much you love us. Come and live in our lives. Be our very best friend and our rescuer. We love you and we praise you, Jesus, in your name, amen. And boys and girls, when we pray prayers like that and you turn your life to Jesus, there's a celebration in heaven so we can continue to celebrate today. And one way we're gonna do that is I'm gonna invite Miss Manny to come on up on the stage. Come on up, Miss Manny. Hi, Miss What Manny. you got there? I got all these cute little donkeys. That's awesome. I have an idea of what we could do with them. What do you think? I think, let me get mine right here. We could maybe give these to the kids to remind them what they learned today, that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a colt. What do you think? That would be so awesome. When are we gonna do it? When should we do it? I think we should do it the next time we see him. I'm so excited, I can't even wait. They're so cute. I can't wait either. So the next time we see you boys and girls, and we don't know how soon that'll be, but we're praying it's real soon, you're gonna get a donkey just like this, and we can call it your Easter colt. Manny, would you please say a prayer for us to say goodbye? I will. God, we thank you for Miss Tammy and for your word that you sent to us that we can learn about you. We thank you for all that you've given to us. We ask that you be with all these boys and girls and their families and their friends as we go through our week. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Boys and girls, we love you, and we'll see you again next week. You're in our prayers and your leaders. Bye. Bye.